January the 19th, 2021, and it's in the evening. I uh, was going over today's devotion, the Psalms 19. The heavens declare the glory of, the, of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is a bright, as a bridegroom cometh out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. <clears throat> The statues of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servants also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent unto the great transgressions. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Psalms 19. I like that last part there. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And also the beginning, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Now we'll look at uh, Proverbs 19. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Also that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good, and he that hasteth with his feet sinneth, the foolishness of man perverted his way, and his heart fretteth against the Lord. Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor are separated from his neighbor. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Many will entreat the favor of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him. How much more do his friends go far from him? He pursueth them with words, yet they are wanting to him. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. Dropping. House and riches are the inheritance of fathers, and a prudent wife is from the Lord. Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. He that keepeth the commandment keepeth his own soul, but he that despises his way shall die. He that has pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will be, will he pay him again. Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment, for if he thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. Hear counsel and receive instruction, that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. There are many devices in a man's heart, nevertheless the counsel of the Lord shall stand. The desire of a man is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom, and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Smite a scorner, and the simple be, will be beware, and reprove one that has understanding, and he will understand knowledge. He that wasteth his father and chases away his mother is a son that causes shame and bringeth reproach. Cease, my son, to hear the instruction that causes us to err from the words of knowledge. An ungodly witness scorneth judgment, and the mouth of the wicked devours iniquity. Judgments are prepared for scorners, and stripes for the back of the fools. That's Proverbs 19. <clears throat> Now, we'll flip over to Revelations 19. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, 
Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments, for he has judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornifications, and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again they said, Alleluia, and her smoke rose up for ever and ever, and the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. And the voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that feareth him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and of the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife has made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, with the fine linen is the righteousness. Is the righteousness. Oh, where did I go? Lost my spot. Ah. And I heard in the voice, and the voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent, omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife has made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called upon the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren have thy, that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon it was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he does judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he sang to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God that ye may eat the flesh of the kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of them that sat on them and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. And I saw the beast, 19. <clears throat> now we'll turn over to the uh, financial part of the Bible. Marcella wrote about, and uh, just look through the financial breakthrough checklist. I'm just going to read a couple here today. So, just a reminder, as we face financial problems, there are many considerations to make. So, based upon strong scriptural principles that will enable you to experience your financial circumstances. I should read 1 Kings 17, 1 through 16, and 2 Kings 4, 1 to 17. The action. The moment the spirits of doubt attacked your mind concerning your financial problems, Take authority over them in the name of Jesus. Satan's objective is to keep your mind in a constant state of turmoil, worrying over your finances. Be on your guard the moment will begin to worry all fear and doubts into your heart. And concerning your financial circumstance, you will open yourself to defeat. Bind the spirits of fear, doubt, and worry from your mind and release them. And release your faith. Act in faith upon God's promises to you. Anyway, we'll call that a wrap for this evening. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Tim Ross here, and it's January the 19th, 2021. Have a blessed night.